okay uh, i was telling uh, when to take mean and when to take median in what condition uh, we can take mean and we can't take mean and we are how when now we should go for a median suppose uh, let it be an example as uh, an exam conducted in a class for a hundred mark okay for a hundred mark exam 10 people okay 10 people have attended the exam so the first one scored 10 marks second one 10 third 15 10 10 10 and very high mark this is a very bright student he scored 95 marks the exam was very tough the rest of all couldn't perform uh, well they performed extremely bad and they scored 15 15 10 only one person scored 95 yeah, this is an exam for 100 marks 100 marks okay 100 marks exam 10 people have attended these are the scores they obtained suppose if we take mean we go for this uh, formula and we add up all the values uh, 10 plus 10 plus 15 10 15 10 plus 95 plus 15 plus 15 plus 10 we get 205 divided by 10 so the mean will be 20.5 okay <coughs> so what happens is if you go through the value you can see that this value actually should represent the central tendency okay if you can see the values it is coming nowhere in the central region okay so if you put the value in an increasing order it is nowhere coming in the central region it is nowhere coming in the central region it is actually coming at the end of the value okay actually this central tendency value should come somewhere here if you are taking mean median or mode it should come somewhere here this is just a data set I have kept for median you don't get confused the measure of central central tendency should come here it should be the it should represent the central tendency central value on an average value but this 20.5 is not at all giving the central tendency actually it is coming here at the end of the value so the same example when we go for a median we put it as an in increasing order 10 10 10 10 10 15 15 15 and 95 so we take the middle two values 10 and 15 so we get 12.5 it is actually representing the central tendency because it is coming exactly at the middle or somewhere at the middle okay in the previous example we had seen the central tendency is coming at the central region not the tail end actually this is coming somewhere here at the end of the value it should not happen so when there is an extreme value this is called as outlier when there is an extreme value or outlier we should never use mean we should go for median okay when there is an extreme value if the data set is having an extreme value higher or lower we should never go for mean we should go for median because mean is sensitive to extreme values mean is sensitive to extreme values or outliers okay so this is the concept when we have an outlier we should never take mean as a central tendency instead we should go for median okay so hope you understood it mean median and mode when when we should take mean and when we should take median mode i'm uh, i told you it is uh, not at all important only exam but you can write mode with one example so hope you understood what is the measure of central tendency okay it is a central average values so how we represent in a data set it is uh, coming into the action when we do a research and we have a lot of values so we uh, combine the values and we usually represent the mean value and sometimes we take median when we should take mean and median if you have a extreme values if you are taking BP value 
so most of the values are coming 120 120 120 and few people are coming 200 220 that time you cannot take mean that time you should go for median but mean is the most accurate value median is not that much accurate as mean but sometimes we cannot rely on mean because it is sensitive to extreme value okay thank you